now we have an idea of how button knife works and what exactly is the purpose for which we use button knife so in order to use this in a project let's get started with first upgrading the build.gradle file now you need to make changes to both the project as well as the module build.gradle file let's first start with the project file now in order to make the change here you need to add a class path to the dependency and this is all you need to do to the project file now let's go to the module build.gradle file now for the build.gradle file for the module you need to add the button knife library as a dependency and then you need to apply the plugin so we've added the dependency for the cheek button library button knife and we've added the plugin so now you need to sync the build or cradle file so that it can incorporates all the changes that we've done let's sync this now once it gets compiled you are ready to use the button knife library in your app now we've gone ahead and we are now using the same layout that we were using with the resource demo the image view and two buttons and a text view to show up the name of the city the only thing we made a change here is that now you don't find an on click here so this will do through the button knife there's no on click on either button so this is all the change we make to the ui now let's go to the class now this is the code that we already have and normally we use in our activity is that we declare references to all the ui components then use the find view by id method to allocate the corresponding ui component to these references and if you got a color you get methods like cut color if you got a drawable you get a method called get drawable and similar methods for arrays and strings that we've been using now what happens when you bring this button knife into position now we've already added this to the gradle file now let's see how we can add this to the code and accordingly see what how it affects the activity for every variable that we need to be assigned from the UI, if it's a view, I'll use the method bind view and pass in the ID that I want to associate. Now button 2 is first of my UI components and I'll assign this to a button node. So this is what takes care of this. Uh, I just missed on spelling. Right. And similar thing I need to do for button three. Just copy this. And now let us take care of the image view. And then we have the text view. And then the color, the drawable. We have add. Now let's set all these. Now first let us take care of the image view. Now we point all the four views, the buttons as well as the image view and text view. Now we're left with the array. Now let's see what we can do with arrays. Now for array you need a different method called bind array. And we need to pass in the array ID. So this takes care of my string array and now we need to take care of the color as well as the tribal. Now for every data type if you have a string a array a boolean an integer you got a corresponding bind method so i'll use bind color now the last of these is the drawable and that will go with r dot drawable dot marshmallow and instead of view we need here drawable now this all needs to go now you will be surprised that it hasn't resulted in any reduction of code since what we were declaring here is what we are declaring here. But the real point comes here is that you don't need any of these methods now. No calls for find view by ID. So this all goes. And if you are checking this through 
the get color this goes the driver goes and this all is gone so the only thing we need to write here is button knife dot bind and these are the options that you got to pass to this and in our case we need to pass in the activity and we pass this to this now this is what triggers button knife to associate all the ids to the respective variables that we've declared so the first part we've seen how we can reduce the calls of find view by ids in our code and this is done within the declaration itself so just by writing this what we're doing is we finding this by this id and associating this with the reference nugget now let's see how we can use this for associating events now either we could be associating events using an anonymous class or we could be using an on click event through the xml file now this is our on click from the xml file now let me associate this with an on click on my button so on click through button knife so i'll pass in the id which is button 2 and then this method will be used to handle the click on this button now but we are using this method to handle click or not one button but two buttons so what i'll do is i'll pass in an array of buttons and this can take care of uh, passing the button object to this view so for both these ids this is the on click event which will be called when we'll be putting on a click on a button with these ids so i've removed the on click method from the xml file now there's no on click and the only on click you have is through the butter knife on click annotation so now this is the method which will handle the click on these two ids and accordingly we've got this to cast to button click button and then accordingly a check and we get the things going now let me run this and see how this is running in my emulator so as you can see the code gets considerably reduced and on clicks are much easier to see you don't need to add to the xml or write an anonymous class write a normal method we can even pass a button directly here the view would automatically be cast to the button or you could write a button here directly so that would save a cast here in case i directly use a button here this cast will be un will be avoidable now let's run this and see what is the output here so let me check if this transforms to blue color and a city name comes here yes working this is also working so nothing changes in the output but a lot changes in the code so button knife is a light library that enables you to avoid a number of repetitive lines that you've been writing repeatedly like find view by ids and then helps you in reducing the code we write for listeners so it becomes more clearer and easier to manage the click events